Okay, Jupiter in the fifth house. Oh, Jupiter is comfortable in the fifth house. <laughs> like, it's a ton of creativity, love, and romance, and sex, and all of that. Like, all of that's going to be wonderful for you. <laughs> like, all of that's going to be great unless you have, like, something swearing at or opposing it. Maybe, like, it might. But Jupiter is, like, really comfortable there. You're going to be very creative. People are going to be drawn to that. Um, you're probably going to be very sexy and all of those things. Um, have great hair. Like, it's like being a Leo on steroids, having, like, Jupiter in the fifth house. It's the only way I can think about it. It'd probably be a bit egotistical, but, hmm. Um... Just trying to think of some cons. What would be a con to that? House. I mean, the only thing I can think of being like too, too, too um, eccentric, like too, like those creative types that are like too creative. If that makes sense, like you're too in your own world of like how you see things and do things you're too prideful you're too it's just too much like it's just that leo like again it's like leo on steroids but like exactly leo already you basically be on steroids because it's the sun rules leo so it's just like you too much like sometimes just tone down like not tone down who you are but like just tone it down a little bit like it might just be a little bit too much honestly like for most people to handle around you or like you can be by yourself and be too much by yourself and just be too much by yourself shit fuck it yeah that's that's, that's all i can can't think of oh you might have too many kids you might be too sexual Ooh, that's a super con all right yeah you might be you might be a hoe okay a hoe, a slutty buddy, a, a fuck boy, slutty buddy. You might have too many fucking kids. You might be spreading your seed and your legs all around. Close your fucking legs. Stop spreading your seed. Stop having all them goddamn kids. Cut it out. It's just nasty. Uh-huh. But not nasty if you love, if you ain't loving, you know, unions and like that's what you do. You know what I mean? But most of the time, that's not how that goes when people have... 50 baby mothers and baby fathers. Nah, close your legs. Stop, stop, stop coming in, everybody. That's nasty. And stop letting all these people come to you. Okay? You having too many kids, you're responsible for them, responsible for showing them how to be as humans. And, you know, it's an energetic thing, too, when you bring in life from being you can see his life and birth life and try to raise life whilst being a fucking slutty buddy whore ass bitch and when I say whore ass bitch I'm not saying that is a, a gendered thing male female them they her other whatever stop being a horse if that like especially if you can could see from your whorishness cut it out cut it out so but you're probably a uh, creative, just like free from only genius, but you're stop being a whore. Okay. Um, yeah, that's it. All right. Thank you so much again for watching and peace out.